Hollywood One, nine nine one one. Our guest, Miss Ayn Rand. Hello. Hello. Yes. Miss Rand. Yes. I find that I'm not satisfied, nor do I find satisfaction in money earned because I do not earn it by my values or by my beliefs, but really rather by a shallow use of a talent. By that, what? A, a shallow a use. Shallow use of a talent. Uh huh. That does sometimes bring me some elation. Enjoy. In other words. I enjoy being somewhat successful. Now, my question is: How does someone achieve individual value in a world that judges not by the values of individuality, but rather by our ability to succeed materially? Particularly when, to be perfectly frank, we find ourselves in the need of approval of our fellow man, whatever his values be. Well, you see, your answer is. Contained right in your question, if you place the approval of your fellow men above your own judgment, even when their values are wrong, uh, if you place their opinion above your own values, then of course you'll never achieve any satisfaction, neither in work nor in anything else. The point is that one can enjoy the approval of one's fellow men only when their values are rational, when they are right, and when they correspond to what you know to be right. But if you can do some work on, of which you are proud and others approve of it or understand and appreciate it, that is fine, that is a proper reward. But if your values differ from those around you, and you know that you're right. You cannot sacrifice that which is right but if for the approval of those whom you yourself know to be wrong. Then let us say that it was not just for the approval, but it was also because of being in a perfectly practical situation of needing to support a family. How do I, which do I put for, first, the support of a family which I love very much, or the belief in values which I do not find myself living up to day by day, with my abilities, with yes, my I beliefs. do not believe that one can achieve anything, uh, not for any length of time, uh, by compromising one's convictions and values. If what you say is true, that is, if you could do much better work and use your talent in a more profound way, you would do better financially as well. It is not true that you can help your family by, in effect, doing a superficial job or using your talent in a shallow way, as you put it. This may work for the range of the moment, but you will find in the long run that you will be defeated, that you would undercut your own earning capacity and the value that you may be to those you love. Oh, and Ryan, from whence come courage? Where does one get courage? from the conviction that one is right. And if you need a little help on the subject, I would suggest that you read The Fountainhead. Because I read the, the character Fountainhead. of Peter Keating in it is exactly in your position, although he did not compromise because of, he wanted to support others, but he uh, wanted the approval of society above everything else. He was very successful for a while. Read what happened to him psychologically. And that is the pattern which applies to everybody in every line of work and on, in every degree of success, big or small. If you make a success against your own conviction, you'll pay for it, and so will your loved ones. And uh, as to courage, I have always said that I'm not brave enough to be a coward. I see the consequences too clearly. Mm. I would suggest that you think this over. I'm Rand, I like you. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, ma'am. I hope that answers your question. Michael? Yes, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Wonder who that was.